Welcome class. We are still on the topic absorption costing. Uh, previous uh, video, you remember, I explained what is absorption costing and I gave you the stages which are followed in absorption costing, okay? So, today I want to do a practical question, but before we go to that practical question, I just want to show you this one part which normally confuse students, whereby when we are talking about what we call over absorption or under absorption of overheads. So, I'm going to start with that part. Um, let me show you just for revision purposes. Uh, remember, we said in absorption costing uh, number one. Remember, you do what we call allocation of overheads. Uh, number two, we said you do what we call apportionment. Apportionment of overheads. Uh, number three, we talked about reapportionment of overheads. Uh, reapportionment of overheads. Then number four, we say the calculation of overhead absorption rate. That's our OAR. Uh, then number five, we say we do the calculation of selling price of a job. So this is just a quick revision. Uh, then we say it. Uh, how do we calculate OAR? Okay. Uh, OAR, the formula we say it's uh, total. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we say the formula is total budgeted overheads. Uh, all being divided by total hours or in other relevant basis stated in the question. Okay, uh, that's how we calculate your OAR. We said OAR is total budgeted over it, over total hours or in other relevant basis stated in the question. Okay, so then I uh, want to deal with uh, over or under absorption. Over or under absorption of overhead. Okay, when we are dealing with over or under absorption of overhead, uh, there is a formula for you to calculate that. Uh, is it an over? Is it an under? So the formula is for you to calculate over or under absorption of overhead. Uh, it's flexible, uh, budgeted overheads minus actual overheads. So it's flexible budgeted overhead minus actual overhead equals to if your answer when you get your answer now uh, if your answer like we are saying the flexible is subtracting the actual for example let's assume this is 100 uh, then this is 105 so in other words the budgeted that your overhead is 100 if your actual overhead is 105 which means your answer will be negative that's an under absorption. But let's assume your flexible is 200, but your actual is 190. So in other words, uh, your actual is less than what you had budgeted. For in that instance, is now your answer will be a over absorption. So equals to, so flexible budgeted over it minus actual over it equals to, if our answer is positive, that's an over absorption but if our answer is negative that's an under absorption so for you to get over or under absorption depends so if it's positive it's over absorption if your answer is negative it's under absorption but how do we calculate this amount now the flexible budgeted over it okay the formula for calculating Flexible 
budgeted overheads are uh, equals to uh, total budgeted overheads times actual output. When you are referring to output, you are referring to units produced uh, over budgeted output. So your flexible budgeted overhead, for you to calculate flexible budgeted overhead, the formula is total budgeted overhead times actual output or unit produced or being divided by budgeted output, okay? Or you can simply say, remember, you calculate your OAR. If you observe, uh, how do you calculate OAR, total budgeted overhead, over total hours or any other relevant basis? So it can be over total output day. So when we are now doing this one now, you can either say, uh, O is simply your OAR times your actual output it can be output it can be hours isn't it so that's another way of calculating what you call the flexible budgeted overhead okay then another easier way of understanding the concept of over or under absorption uh, let's assume a business okay i'm going to do it in a form of like a table uh for example Let's say we have budgeted output. Our budgeted output, let's say it's um, 10,000 units. These are units. Then our budgeted cost, isn't it? Let's say it's uh, 100,000. Okay, so this is the budgeted. Okay, I uh, want to show you scenarios where we can have what we call, let's start with what we call an under absorption. Okay, let me start with under absorption. Then here I will deal with over absorption. So, under absorption arises in these circumstances. For example, let's assume uh, this becomes actual output. Uh, let's say if our actual output we produce 9,000 units. Remember, these are less than what has been budgeted, uh, but our actual cost uh, will be 100,000. So this leads to what we call an under absorption of overhead. We are saying the budgeted cost is the same as actual cost, but our actual output is less than the budgeted output. That's an underabsorption of overhead. Okay? Or another assumption is this. Okay? Uh, uh, let me use this one still. Let's say we produce 10,000 units, which means we have produced the same units as the what? The budgeted units, isn't it? But when we go to our actual costs now, let's say we use 110,000. So our budgeted output is the same as the actual output. Okay, so our budgeted cost is the same as the actual. Isn't it? Units, we budget produce 10,000, we actually produce 10,000 units, isn't it? But our actual cost now is greater than the budgeted cost. So that's an underabsorption. So if you can easily see that an underabsorption is a cost to the business. It's an expense to the business. Okay. Then uh, an overabsorption arises in these circumstances. Let's go. Uh, let's say this is our actual output. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it in two parts. For example, Let's say we produce 10,000 units, which means the same unit as budgeted. But our actual cost here uh, will be, for example, 95,000. So I've produced the same units as budgeted, but at a lower 
cost than the budgeted cost of 100,000. That's an overabsorption. Okay? Or oh, another circumstance, let's say here we produce 11,000 units, but at the same cost of 100,000 what? Dollars. That's an overabsorption. So you can actually see that an actual uh, an overabsorption it benefits the business. So if there is an overabsorption, it increases the profit of the business. So when you are doing the absorption cost statement, overabsorption is added to the profit. So that's an over or under absorption. Okay. I just want to find a simple question, but it will be a multiple choice where I will calculate that. Okay, so I want to continue. I want to do a practical question. Okay, uh, on how to calculate. Remember, I said an underabsorption arises in these circumstances, an overrise in these circumstances. Then I gave you the formula. How do you calculate over or underabsorption over it? It's flexible budgeted over it minus actual over it. Then if your under is positive, that's an over. If your under is negative, that's an one. That's an underabsorption. So let's do a practical question. I want to do a few questions, but normally this comes in paper one, multiple choice, okay? Then in paper two or three, you just apply the concept, okay? Uh, so here we go. Uh, the first question, I'll be fast, a bit fast. Effect in K over it of 261,000, isn't it? These are in K. So if you are saying they were in K, it's actual. And worked for 115,000 machine hours. The budget the production figures were 122,000 machine hours. And an overhead cost of 268,000. What was the under or over absorption of overheads? Okay, so let's do the calculations. Okay, so let's solve this one uh, quickly. So remember, go through the question, make sure you have the question, okay? So I'm just now doing the calculation, okay? Uh, if you go... Uh, so the formula, remember, we say for you to calculate uh, OAR, the formula, the one that to calculate over or under absorption of overhead. So the formula, we say it's flexible budgeted overhead expenditure. So it's flexible budgeted overhead expenditure minus actual overhead expenditure. Remember, we said if our answer is positive, that's over. If it's negative, that's an one under. So if we go back to our question, uh, we have to calculate flexible budgeted overhead expenditure is calculated. So if you check from the question uh, quickly, um, we can observe that. Uh, what was our uh, effective in case of this? If we in case, that's actual, isn't it? The one which I in case is actual. So you simply substitute here. Uh, so you have your actual here is 261,000. That is the one which was in case. Okay. So what's our FBOE? Remember, we said you have to calculate your FBOE. Uh, remember, total budgeted over it times actual output over budgeted what? Output. Okay. So let's check from the question. Um, quickly, uh, from our source here, from our source, remember, and wait for 160, which is that's our actual machine hours. So it's the budgeted production figures were 122,000 machine hours in over a cost of 268,000. So for you to calculate FBOE, the flexible budgeted over the expenditure, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say budgeted overhead 268,400 times actual machine hours 116,000 divided by budgeted machine hours 122,000. So let's quickly insert that. Uh, so it's, uh, if you go to our question, uh, so it's 268,400. That's our budgeted uh, overhead. Times actual hours, which is 116,000, divided by budgeted hours. I've just applied the formula here. Total budgeted over it times actual output, or it can be hours, it can be out output, it can be actual hours here. Okay. 
So, divided by budgeted overhead, then you subtract. So it's 268,400 divided by 116,000. So it times, times 116,000. Oh, let me quickly calculate. 268,400. Uh, okay, let me just adjust my calculator. Uh, 268,400 uh, times 116,000. Divided by divided by one twenty two thousand, we get something like two fifty five two hundred minus two sixty one thousand. So our answer is going to be negative, isn't it? Uh, two sixty one thousand. That's five thousand eight hundred. And remember, we said if it's negative, that's n under absorption of. Over it. So let's go check our answer. It's 5.8 and it's under absorption. Okay. Uh, if you check here, therefore from this question, your answer will be A. Okay. Let's quickly go through another question. Uh, number four. Which of the following may result in an over absorption of over it? In an over. If you remember again from our not if you want to have an overabsorption, uh, I've explained it here. An over arises either if our actual output is equal to budgeted output, but the actual cost will be less than the budgeted cost. That's an over. Or it's in a situation where our actual output is greater than the budgeted output, but the budgeted cost is the same as the actual cost. Okay. So if we go back to our question. Let's check, uh, uh, let's check, uh, so the question is saying, which of the following may result in an over-absorption of overhead, over-absorption of overhead, isn't it? So, if we check from the question here, uh, uh, it's either, it's expenditure below budget. We are saying expenditure below budget. For example, I said we have produced the same output as budgeted, but at a lower cost than the budgeted cost. So C will be our appropriate what? Answer. Okay? Uh, let me find another one. Uh, let's go to number nine. Uh, before number nine, number eight. What may result in an under absorption of fixed overhead? If we check again uh, from our board, we now need an under. So an under arise in what circumstances? We say it under can arise if our budgeted output, for example, is 10,000. If we produce 9,000, which is less than budgeted, but our cost, 100,000, will be the same as the actual cost. So if actual cost is equal to the budgeted cost, but our actual output is less than the budgeted output, that's an underabsorption. Or it can arise in a situation whereby we produce 10,000 units as budgeted. But at a greater cost than budgeted. So, for example, one thing instead of hundred thousand, that's an underabsorption. So, let's go to our question. Uh, if we quickly go back to the question, uh, the question wants us to check which one is an underabsorption. Underabsorption arises in what circumstances? What may result in an underabsorption of fixed production of it? Okay. Uh, let's check. Let's check. Absorption based on actual expenditure and actual activity. Actual expenditure below budgeted expenditure. No. Actual activity above budget activity. No. These two, that's for over absorption. Actual activity below budget. Remember, I gave an example that like our actual output is 9,000 instead of 10. But the budgeted cost 100,000 was equal to the actual cost, which is 100,000. So our answer is D. These two circumstances lead to an overabsorption. Okay? So let's do another calculation. Uh, the following data is relevant to a business. Uh, budgeted labor hours, budgeted overheads, actual labor hours, actual overheads. What is the amount of overhead under absorbed? Remember the formula for you to calculate over or under. It's flexible budgeted overhead expenditure minus actual overhead expenditure. But how do we calculate flexible budgeted overhead expenditure? The actual overhead we have is 160,000 here. I'm just going to substitute on our formula. But we have to calculate the flexible budgeted overhead expenditure. So remember, we said our formula is budgeted overhead 
times actual hours, which is 9.5, all being divided by 10,000. Okay, I think they've understood. So let's just go. I'm now going to substitute the figures there. Uh, uh, let's quickly do it. Uh, so remember, the formula does not change. Uh, FBOE flexible budget and over the expenditure minus add to over the expenditure equals to plus the deposit over if it's a negative. Uh, minus it's a under. So let's now substitute. If you remember from our question, our budgeted over is 150,000, isn't it? Times actual hours. Remember, it's 9.5 over budgeted hours. That's 10,000. Minus actual over the expenditure, which is 150,000. Okay? Let me just show you again so that you don't get confused. Uh, this is the question. Um, budgeted over is 150 times actual hours 9.5 divided by budgeted labor hours 10,000. That's how you get your flexible budget over the expenditure. Minus actual over is 150,000. Okay? Remember the reason why we flex the budget. Light can only be compared with light. Okay? So let's now go get the answer. Um, so it's now calculation, it's now 150,000 times 9.5 uh, divided by 10,000, okay? That's 142,500 minus 150,000. So our answer is 17.5. If it's a negative, that's A under absorption, okay? Uh, so you have observed that that's easier way you calculate your question so if you check from here our answer will be d okay i want to do something which is a bit more difficult um let's go to this question uh, i think let me start with this one okay a business is the following budgeted in actual results for a period uh budgeted fixed over it budgeted number of units actual fixed over it then there is an under absorption of over. They've already given you an answer. Okay. So how do we come up with that answer? Remember, uh, we say it when we are dealing with this formula. Uh, our formula does not change. It's flexible budgeted over the expenditure minus actual over the expenditure equals to plus it's an over minus it's an under. Don't forget this. So if we observe from our question now, uh, let's substitute what we have. From the question, uh, if you observe from the question, we have 3000, which is an under absorption. So, if the and it's under absorption, it's negative. Okay, then our actual fixed overhead we have 360,000. Then we have budgeted fixed overhead and budgeted number of units. But we are not given what is the actual level of activity in units. So, the units which we actually produce. So, let's go back again. Let's substitute what we have. So here we say it's our actual over is it's given. It's 360. Just check from the question. Equals to our under was 3000, but it's minus. Remember, it's under. They said it's an under absorption. So what's our FBOE? Remember, normally for us to calculate FBOE, we said it's total budgeted uh, over it times actual output divided by budgeted of output, isn't it? So let's substitute our budgeted overhead. We have them from the question is 354,000 times X. We don't have the actual output divided by our budgeted output, which is given that 181,000. Okay, so that's how you find the missing link. So uh, we can do the calculations from here. Okay, so we take this to this side. Uh, it becomes 354,000 times x over 118,000 equals to minus 3,000 plus 360,000. The next step, we can multiply both sides by what? By 118,000, okay? Uh, we multiply by 118,000 here, by 118,000 here, okay? So here it cancels each other. We are now left with 354,000. 
x equals to minus 3000 plus 360,000 all being multiplied by what? 118,000 okay the next thing we have to divide both sides by 354,000 354,000 so what's our x x equals to what okay so let's just now punch the figures in the what in the calculator okay uh so it comes minus three thousand so in simple terms three sixty thousand minus three thousand that's three fifty seven thousand times one one eighteen thousand okay uh that's uh get a certain figure then we divide that figure by three fifty four Thousand, we get one one nine one thousand. Okay, so let's just check it from the question. Uh, let's just check it from the question. Uh, so if we do that, we go to one nineteen thousand, which is what your B here. So that's all about over and under absorption of overhead. I would need you to try number two of applying the same concept on your own so make sure you get your oar thank you